Bitcoin. What's yes. going to happen? Uh, uh, what Bitcoin? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, big. Yeah? Hello, I'm Jeff Rosenstock. So walked out to the docks in spring and drank tall boys on the rocks by the water. The I'm about to get a psychic reading. I'm Pandora, I'm a psychic medium from Chicago, and I'm here to help. Good night to me. Hi. Hello, hi. I'm Pandora. I'm Jeff. It's nice to meet you. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are you today? I'm good. Are you ready for... Can you tell how I am today? I can totally tell how you are today. So I'm just going to babble what I'm seeing. Sure. Stop me at any point. All right. Um, so for you, I feel like the next six months are huge life change. Um, going from your scope being small about mm -hmm. yourself, even though it's not really small, but it's going to blow up okay. to a hundred times more. Than what you currently have. So success is very, very big. Um, and I feel like you had to do a lot of battles to get to this point. Um, and a lot of it was battles within yourself about confidence and confidence in your word, your voice. So you've now transformed over the last year and a half so that you can take that energy and move forward into your success. This is the opposite of what I, as, as you can imagine, yeah. <laughs> it would be like, all right, this is what's going to go wrong. Um, I also feel connected to that, that you have a muse person, that there's a guiding person who helps you to be creative, who helps you or who is in your inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, and I do feel like this is um, female. Okay. Do you know who I'm talking about? Um, it could possibly be my wife, ding, who, ding, is, ding. who is in here also, by the way, really? which is another question. Yeah, uh, yeah. This hi, Christine. She is a huge part of your success. So it's not just that she's your muse, but she's also the person kicking your butt yeah. so that you get past those fears and the things that you transformed through all of that negative self-talk, she has helped to push out of the way. The other thing that's coming up for you is that your creativity is in many different areas. Um, and if you're not doing anything with color right now, even if it's just designing something on the computer or painting or whatever it is, mm -hmm. colors are super important to you. Do you feel that? Yeah. You're definitely. aware of it? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I feel like in, uh, I guess, in kind of the world that we're in with like bands and stuff like that, everybody's mm -hmm. always pretty obsessed with wearing black all the time mm -hmm. and, and black everything. And I think in like the last year or two, I've just, I mean, I've never really been like that, but in the last like year or two, I've been like color, purposely color. just like, I'm going to have as much color yeah. as possible all the time. Right, exactly. You know? Just like make it a beautiful experience. It's the same way for you with um, uh, flavors. Your very your senses are very open, um, more so than most people. Mm. So that may mean? yeah, <laughs> it's <laughs> good overstimulation. <laughs> yeah. Um, so ask me questions. Do you have any questions that have popped up? Because they usually do once you relax. Um. W so s with things in like the next six months, kind of picking up. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of tend to take on a lot of stuff all the time. Like I am busy. I work a mm -hmm. lot. I'm always working on things. I'm always working, like you said, on a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. um, how is that going to treat, I guess, the rest of my life aside from uh, my work? My work yeah. You know what I mean? So you've got a year, basically, that you're going to invest like massively into yeah. career. Mm -hmm. During that year, you need to make sure that you're scheduling time for home time, family time. Yeah. You have to do it. You have to really just sit down and say, this is my time. Um, otherwise, the career stuff is going to take over. It's good to be OCD about the career stuff because that's what you want your life to be. Yeah. But you have to actually schedule you know, like date night or family time. That sounds good mm -hmm. to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And the other thing for you, no matter how much you may be traveling for work, mm -hmm. you need to travel for pleasure. Yeah. Okay. And that's I've, something I've that... I've thought about that a lot. Um, give yourself permission. Actually, yeah. 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 That's what it is, mm -hmm. really. Because um, yeah. you need to escape into um, a space where you haven't been before so that you can be that different part of yourself who you haven't been before. So if I'm in that different space, I tend to write a lot when I'm in spaces like that. Is that mm -hmm. a good thing or is that something I should just like ignore and just literally try to turn it all off? No, you, know? you can't turn it off because when that's part of you, it's like you're channeling the information from your higher self or from your spirit guides, truly. Mm -hmm. That's why when a song will come through and it's just like, bleh, it all falls out. It's because it's coming from your higher self. So you can't really quiet that, but you can condense it. So you mm -hmm. can say these two hours or these four hours, I can be creative. And then the rest of the time, yeah. just be. 
Here's a simple one. Are we going to do, do a good job when we play tomorrow in Chicago? What do the cards say? Are we going to play well or are we going to fuck it up? Um, you are going to play well, but I would be really, really, really careful with sound. Okay, cool. Okay. Also, we've played like 80% of the shows we have played in our lives have been bad sounding. So okay, there so. will be a familiarity there at least well, if, there you if, go. If, yeah. if it all gets messed up. Less trouble, more bass, you're fine. Um, did you want to ask me about any of your songs? Uh, yeah, sure. We, we picked like the most insane song to do. So. Okay. Here's here's the lyrics to okay. this song. It's fast. So can you tell that nine to five stuff isn't for me? <laughs> Not at all. Yes, I totally get it. What's interesting to me is that um, I feel like people's reaction to the song, not just the music, but the lyric portion, is going to be very big. This song is something that really echoes who you are. Yeah. And well, I think all of our all of my songs are like that. I kind of don't really know how to write any other way. If I did, yeah. oh man, yeah, it'd be easy. <laughs> right. So this is good. I mean, it's um, it helps people to break free of their inability to communicate by listening to you, because you don't hold back on what you want to say. You yeah. say it all. So you help them to do that. Um, you also help them to understand that it's okay to be kind of crazy and out there sometimes and then go back into their normal lives. Yeah. So that's a huge thing for, for your audience is to be given permission to be whoever they are for a while and then step back into their nine to five or whatever. Yeah. Do you find that people talk to you about how you've like freed them? I've definitely spoken to people uh, because uh, a lot of lyrics on a record either touch on anxiety or depression or mm -hmm. like especially this last one that this one is on kind of brings in just uh, the external, like, financial forces of mm -hmm. the reality of capitalism that kind of just crush everybody all the time. That was something that right. I really wanted to try to and address in a yeah. way that didn't sound dumb, which is, like, really a challenge, I think, it's for anybody hard. to do. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so people have come up to me and, and talked to me about that kind of stuff. It, it's always very, very, like, means everything. And I have no idea what to say when anybody says anything. So I'm like, oh, thanks. You right. Know? It's like, thanks. I'm glad you connect with my music. Yeah. yeah it's, um, it's nice. Yeah. Because you really do free people to have a stronger voice themselves just by listening to you and how you communicate. So it's not just the power of the music, but it is really the power of the lyrics. This is like part of the record that kind of like people goes off get the lost. rails. You yeah. Know? Don't hold yourself back from doing things like this. Throw in the one or two things on an album that make people say, he wrote that too. Yeah. Because these are the ones that actually are going to get you more attention. The other ones might get you more money, but this gets None you. None of them gets no. more anything. <laughs> hey, six it's months from now. It's music in 2017. Well, you know? that's true. Yeah. Two cents a song. And, yeah. and I'm like a fucking weird anti-capitalist idiot. So it's just like those are two things that work really badly towards making more money. <laughs> true. But turn that voice off. You know, the negative yeah. critical yeah. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, no. We don't need that I'm one anymore. I'm a great anti-capitalist. Yes. Friend to mm -hmm. everyone. Well, that's okay. That's good because there's a question I wanted to ask you. And this is a big question. Is there anything I could be doing that I'm not doing now uh, to just live my truth, to be my true self? Anything that I feel mm -hmm. that I'm possibly ignoring um, that I might be stifling or putting down? If you would expand your album booklet, whatever that's called, mm -hmm. um, into a real book of your lyrics presented in a different way that mm -hmm. maybe connect with your colors and everything that you're doing and turn it into a quasi book of poetry, even though it's really just going to be a book of lyrics of your songs, yeah. maybe with some extra stuff and commentary thrown in. Mm -hmm. I feel like that will bring a lot of success for you as well. And to help people understand who you are and how you got to be this way, yeah. um, which will expand your reach. Okay. What if I'm okay. afraid of that? Cause I like being vague because I'm already like super fucking specific about stuff so I like a little bit of the mystery well Should you don't I have to explain that, like you don't have to explain everything <clears throat> yeah you can be vague and mysterious mm -hmm. and uh, presented in just a different way just in print rather than auditory 
So there may be people who don't like how it sounds, but they I'm like sure the there, words. There are. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> so don't lose your audience of people who like the words versus the sound. Okay. Okay. Hmm. And that this is something three to five years down the road, no instant pressure. Okay, well, that's good because I'll okay. probably have blown out my voice by then. <laughs> streaming sounds. See, you have to expand yeah. now. Cool. So. Yeah, but think about it that way. All right. Okay. Yeah. So thanks so yes. much for for giving me a reading and for talking to me. Oh, anytime. Yeah. And I'm gonna be watching you now. Oh, <laughs> wait. What does that mean? <laughs> for your success. Oh, okay.